Hi, I'm Mike, wait for it! Pokétips Mike, and welcome back to episode number 3 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. And I just realized we're 3 episodes in and I have not had a single death yet, which is really unusual for me, so I kind of have a bad feeling going into this episode. So last time, we went through the wild area, and I don't really want to talk about what happened there, because it was very tragic. And today, we're going to be exploring Motostoke. There's a lot of stuff to do here, a new Pokemon we could catch, and of course, we have to sign up for the Gym Challenge. But before we do any of that, a lot of you guys told me in the comments to go to the Move Relearner and actually try to have my Pokemon relearn some moves, because they might get something cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, here's a good one. So Hollow can learn Shadow Claw, which is like a direct upgrade over Astonish. So let's get rid of that and learn Shadow Claw. I guess we could teach Hermione Headbutt instead of Stomp. It's a slight upgrade, so why not? Barty can remember Flame Charge. We absolutely need that. That's a good one. And I think that's it for new moves. So that's actually pretty good. We got some decent moves on our Pokemon. Also, Barty went through a few changes in between the episodes. I found the cool mod online that gives Colossal a Minecraft skin, so you know we had to put it on there. Minecraft's kind of like my guilty pleasure game. I used to play it all the time ages ago, and I still play it every now and then. Alright, so let's make our way over to the gym so we can sign up for the thing, and there's that Crystal Onyx! Look at that, that looks so cool! Oop, I heard a Charizard, you know what that means! It's Leon! One look tells me you become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And, yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this! Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. Oh, thank you, Leon, I'm so honored you think I'm ready for Mystic Water. Waluigi time! Pop, I'm trying to talk to Waluigi! This guy is always getting in the way. I'm always trying to either leave somewhere, I'm trying to do something, and then Hop's just like, nope, I gotta pull you over here. He's got like these magnet hands, he just grabs me. And sweet, Waluigi gives me a Pokeball. Thank you so much, Mr. Waluigi. Alright, let's go ahead and sign up for this gym challenge. I can't believe it's three episodes in and we haven't gotten to a gym yet. There's a lot of, like, exposition in this game. Would you look at this? The place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Ah, uh, and there's Bede. Now, the first time I saw Bede's design, I thought he was an old lady. I still kind of think he is. I don't know, it's just the gray grandma-like hair and the gray eyebrows, it really sells the look. But don't get me wrong, I love Bede and I love the battle theme, I hope we get to fight him soon. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform, if you'd be so kind. Ooh, we get to choose the number, you know there's only one number we can choose. 007, baby, let's go! The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked at a room nearby in the Badoo Drop Hotel. That's the league chairman for you, even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs! Wait a second, what is going on over here? Is that... more Pico? Or is that Pikachu? I don't know how I feel about this thing. On one hand, I think it's kinda cute, but it's also a little bit freaky. Challenger Poketips, we've arrived at the Badoo Drop Inn. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get some rest. It looks like Team Yell's over here blocking the way to talk to this guy. I wonder what would happen if I used like a walkthrough walls cheat code right now and just spoke to this guy. Would I be able to skip fighting all these guys? But that would be no fun. We gotta talk to him anyway. We came all the way out to this big city so that we could properly cheer on gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I don't know if I really want to stop them. If they're just here to cheer, there's nothing really wrong with that. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, and you're in for a battle. Team yells all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise! In the middle of a hotel, dude, people are trying to sleep in here. Alright, I guess we do have to stop them. They're gonna be loud in the middle of the hotel. And Draco Zolt again! We saw one early on, I think it was on like Route 1. And now we get to fight one against Team Yell, and oh, it's only level 9? Come on, dude! We found higher leveled wild Pokemon in the wild area. That's ridiculous. Alright, it's Electric Dragon. We don't have a terrible matchup on it. Uh, Breaking Swipe. What type is that again? I forgot. That's a new move. Lowers my attack. Ooh, and the flame body is gonna burn it! That's awesome! Let's go! Smack him down! That Minecraft Colossal looks so cool! I love this little texture mod right here. 
Just in case you were wondering, I looked it up and Breaking Swipe is a Dragon type move. So now you know. That's getting annoying though, it keeps lowering my attack. We really have no problem knocking this thing out. I'm just not liking how it keeps going for that move because I feel like we would have knocked this thing out by now if it didn't keep lowering our attack. Ooh, Dragon Tail. Who are we gonna swap out into? Who's coming out? Ooh, Willow. You messed up here, buddy. Willow just got himself a nice, strong new move. Let's try out that Shadow Claw right here, right now. Yeah, that Dragon Tail didn't really work out for you there. <laughs> and here's a Corsola. Regular or Galarian? Okay, it's the regular one. I have not seen this in a really long time. And they really, really messed up with that whole Dragon Tail. This is exactly who I'd want to bring out against the Corsola. Yeah, get that thing out of here. Bye-bye, Corsola. Oi, give me a break here! Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Here comes grunt number two. Of course I've got you covered, mate. What could be a better battle in a lovely hotel lobby? I love the way she holds up that poster of Marnie. Oh wait, what Pokeball was that? That Pokeball looks really weird to me. I think it's a custom one. I don't exactly remember. Anyway, poor Team Yell, sending out this little thing against me. I'm surprised. Come on, Barty. Come on. You can't take this thing out in one hit. Phantom Force. But I guess we can hit through the Phantom Force. I think it's because that thing has the ability No Guard, which makes it so moves always hit. So that's actually kind of a cool interaction there. Normally when they use Phantom Force, if they disappear, you can't hit them. And Grapple Lock. Let's just finish this thing off with Buckbeak. Oh, oh, that's not good. Focus Punch. Please don't do too much. We resist it, but still, that's a very strong move. Okay, not bad. Why would you try to go for that again? You get one because I swapped out, but you're not getting two. Especially when I send out a flying type move. Yeah, that's not gonna work out for you. Let's see him- Oh wow, he's trying to go for it a third time! See, this is why she's a team yell grunt, because only a noob would try going for that type of strategy. Just keep going for Focus Punch over and over and over again. I must have gotten a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Ah man, that swanky sophisticated air in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Pokey Tips. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't think you could get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. Let's have a nice two-on-two! -two. Again, I feel so bad for all those people on like the second floor just trying to sleep right now. And here we are having a big battle against Team Yell. So Mantine and what is that, Mudbray over there on the left? And we've got a uh, Kufant or Cuffant and... Oh, it's the Shiny! I thought there was something up with that one. Always got a flex on me, Hop. Last time you had all those cool Pokemon in battle, and now you're sending out a shiny elephant. I wasn't 100% sure if that was the shiny, though. Now, here's where things get a little risky. I kind of want to just go for Smackdown on that Mantine, but if it has something crazy like Hydro Pump, it could knock out Barty. So what I'm going to do here is swap out into Willow. I don't think this switch is super necessary, but again, safe than sorry. I just have a really bad feeling about somebody dying in this episode, so I don't want to lose it. And somebody has an eject pack and a berry. That's I love having that ability, Frisk, because every trainer's Pokemon has some sort of item, so it always lets me know like what's going on behind the scenes there. And double iron bash. Is that Melmetal's move right there? That's so weird. It doesn't look that bad coming from the elephant, though. I like the way it just spins its trunk around that does the damage. And Charmander! Alright, so now we're in that predicament again where we might have to swap out. You know what? I just swapped. I'm not swapping again. Let's try going for the Shadow Claw on the Charmander, and hopefully this will take it out. If not, we have our little elephant buddy. Ooh, nice. One hit KO. And the crit! Fire Lash. Ooh, good. Yeah, go for Hop. 8 HP Hop. I got... <laughs> I kind of want to knock out Hop's little elephant guy over here just to see what else he has on his team. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and go for Shadow Claw on Hop. If I lose my Pokemon here to this man time, oh, that's right. It could have flying type moves. This might be so dumb, but I just want to see what else he has. Oh, Fire Lash. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why am I messing around being a clown right now? You better send out something cool. Sea King. No, that's- is that another shiny? Dude, Hop! Hop, why do you have so many shinies? You're a hacker, dude. 
I think Hop has three Pokemon. <laughs> what do you think? Is his third Pokemon also a shiny as well? I probably shouldn't knock out Hop Seeking, especially when this Grunt has another Pokemon. But I kind of want to do it. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and attack the Mantine. We got to end this battle. Hop has the worst shinies, though. Like, these are the ones that you can, like, barely even tell if they're shiny or not. And Hermione wants to learn Leech Seed. Let's do it. Let's get rid of Sweet Scent. I don't think I'm ever going to use that in battle. And Arctovish. I think we've seen at this point, like, almost all of the fossil Pokemon in Sword and Shields. All right, so Arctovish is part Ice type. I'm not going to mess around with Arctovish. I feel like that's a lot stronger than a Mantine. So let's just go for that Branch Poke and hopefully take it out. As much as I want to knock out Hop Sea King and see if he has... Whoa! Pedal Dance Sea King! Yeah, Shiny Sea King, knows Pedal Dance, Hop is a hacker. Okay, and Buckbeak, even though Buckbeak didn't do anything here, wants to learn Pluck. Let's do it, let's get rid of Peck. We definitely need a little power increase on Buckbeak. That, it's not really doing too well right now. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry! What are you lot doing here? Marnie? N nothing we just... I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. I'm not really sure what voice I'm trying to do for Marty right now, to be honest. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. Team Yell, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. All right, with that all done, let's go ahead, check into this hotel, and get some sleep. We've made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. All right, here it is, the opening ceremony. I actually really think this is so cool, how in the Gala region, the gym challenge is such a huge thing. Compare this to, like, the Kanto region, where you just walk around, you go from city to city, you fight the gyms just casually. Here, this is the main event. You feel like a superstar. Now, I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. And here they are, the gym leaders. Now, the sad thing is, I know at least one of these gym leaders is going to end up taking out somebody on my team in the future. But who is it going to be? Standing there on the pitch, in the stadium, in front of everyone, there's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You've made it at last, Hop. And you too, Pokétips. So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself! Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you! I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands? How wonderful! It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the Wishing Stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know? The Gym Challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokémon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you! Now, this is so nice. We come outside, the whole crowd is cheering for us, and they even brought the Crystal Onyx, too! And now, somehow, it's back down here. Unless there's two different Crystal Onyxes in the city, but that would be kind of weird. Anyway, I think now we could finally do one thing that I've wanted to do ever since I first got to Moto Stoke, and that is go to the left over here and start fishing and try to get an encounter in Moto Stoke. Last, yeah, okay, cool, I think we could do it. The last time I tried doing this in the last episode, there were people blocking the bridge, so I couldn't come all the way down here. Wow, it's so far. There we go. So now, let's get our encounter for Moto Stoke before we leave this city. Alright, and we reeled something in. What's it gonna be? Oh, wow. Seriously? Wow. So this is where Dupes Claws comes in handy. We obviously can't catch this thing because I already have Gryffindor. It's evolved form. So we gotta run away from this thing and we'll have to encounter something else. Alright, there we go. Little thing's back. Let's try fishing again. Hopefully we get something different this time. And it is... No, it's not! A Necrozma? What? Did we seriously just fish up a Necrozma? That's actually wild. Hi, Twinkle. My cat's over here trying to say hello. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not too excited about this encounter. Necrozma out of, like, all the legendaries is definitely not one of my favorites. Wow, my character even looks sad on the screen. But it's a legendary encounter. It kind of makes up for last episode. Uh, can we even weaken it with Barty? 
Yeah, I think the plan here is I'm just going to switch into Gryffindor and try going for, uh, what was that move? Tackle? Okay, it is Charge Beam. That actually could get pretty scary pretty fast because that is a chance of raising its special attack. So if it gets a few special attack boosts and we can't catch this thing, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Alright, let's go for Tackle. See how much that does. I don't think it's going to do that much at all. But let's find out. That actually did a lot more than I thought it would. It is only level 7. So, Tackle is absolutely the way to go. Okay. <laughs> we could get one more Tackle in here. Is it worth it? I... I don't think so. I'm gonna go try a Pokeball here because I'm gonna get a crit and knock this thing out. Uh, I'll use a Nest Ball. It works better on Pokemon that are low level. The level 7 Necrozma... Oh! Oh, your Rocket Ball! Is that gonna work? There we go! Alright, we call ourselves a Necrozma. So I think the perfect name for this Pokemon is Voldemort. Alright, so now we should have to swap some things off the team. So who do I want to put away? Eh, uh, we've been using Buckbeak for a really long time. Let's put Voldemort on the team instead of Buckbeak. He who must not be named. So yeah, absolutely not my favorite Pokemon. I like the Dusk form and the Dawn Wings form a lot more than just this regular Necrozma, but it's cool having a legendary Pokemon nonetheless. All right, let's get going at Emoto Stoke now. I think we did everything there is to do here. And wait a second, can we not leave Moto Stoke yet? Nope, just kidding, I went the wrong way. Oh, I walked right into this hot battle. Wait, can I say no? No, no, get me out of this. Okay, I'm absolutely down to battle Hop, but before we do that, we gotta give our team the Orenberries. So since I know I'm about to fight Hop, I'm actually instead gonna bring Buckbeak back out of the PC and put her Miney away, since I don't want two Grass types on the team right now. And I guess I'll give Buckbeak that berry too. Alright, now we're ready for this battle against Hop, and I'm not sure, this might be the first battle where he is a full team of six Pokemon. Let's go ahead and hope he's not a hacker this time too with a full team of Shinies. Pokemon Trainer Hop, how many Pokemon does he have? Yeah, okay. He is a full team of six, and he's bringing out the Hacky Boy right away. Oh my god, how perfect is that? That's pretty good. But yeah, that's not too perfect for me. I should probably switch out here into Buckbeak. I could use Willow for fun so Buckbeak doesn't get all the action. Or I could actually use Gryffindor. Yeah, I could use Gryffindor because I'll be immune to the fighting type moves. And I have Aerial Ace and I also haven't used Gryffindor too much yet. So I think this is Gryffindor's time to shine. Let's do it. Oh, he's going for the counter. That's good, I gotta keep that in mind, but I think we should be fine if we just go for Aerial Ace right here. Matt, wait a second! You could use max moves as a regular Pokemon? But that literally just did one damage. It didn't even set up like the grassy area either, the grassy terrain, okay. That was weird, so it went for max overgrowth, but that did all of nothing. Hop's a hacker, that's all I have to say. So let's go for Aerial Ace again. Yay, still going for that max overgrowth, please. Feel free to do that, you're doing absolutely nothing to me. Yeah, this guy just straight up doesn't learn, I'll take that. That was a free kill right there, I didn't even need to swap out. I wonder if he has like a choice item and he was locked into that terrible move. I don't know, I can't imagine that Hop would just be that bad. And Voldemort's getting to level 8. I probably could have even used Voldemort there. I think I'll teach uh, Ron Sand Tomb. I can't see myself using it too much, I like Mud Slap just a little bit better, but it is a decent move. Okay, next up is Sizzlypede. We definitely need to get out of here. Don't want him to go for Max Flare on me. So we'll bring out Barty over here. Let's see, what are you gonna do to me? Fire Pledge, yeah. Good thing we swapped out of there. That would have done something to me. But to Barty, Barty is basically immune to this. Let's go for Smackdown and knock this thing out. Scratch! Are you serious? Out of all the moves you have, you go for Scratch. To be fair, maybe it doesn't have that great moves. I don't know. Aw, uh, don't complain about the critical hit, Hop. Come on, get good. Pokemon number three, Terrakion! Hop's got the legendary. It's not a shiny legendary, though. I was half expecting it to be shiny based on that last battle. Now, Rock Fighting. I think Willow will be fine here. I love how we really have answers to basically everything. We have such a diverse team so early on in the game. He goes for a fighting move right here. Please, feel free. Oh, Sassy Mint. Rock Slide. Alright, I guess he's not gonna go for a fighting move. Oh, wow! Maybe we don't have answers to everything on his team after all. Oh, uh, that did a lot more than I was expecting it to do. I know Terrakion's a legendary. I know it's really strong. I really thought we'd be better off there. Hmm. Alright. Now, this is where we have the decisions to make. 
we have a few different options here. We could go for the super effective branch poke, which I know is not going to knock it out. We could go for confuse ray, which gives us like a 50-50 chance, and we absolutely can't swap into anybody. We also only have potions right now as our healing option, so we don't have a lot to work with. Um, should I go for the damage, or should I go for the chance? I'm just gonna go for the damage. Let's go for the damage. Freeze Shock? Became cloaked in a freezing light? What is this? I'm not aware of what this move is. And that's not even gonna be a two-hit KO. Alright, so that's Kiram Blackform's signature move. It's a very strong move. Ice type, so if we stay in with Willow, we are absolutely dead. Wait a second, Barty's gonna resist that, so we'll switch into Barty. I think that actually just saved us right here. However, the annoying thing is we still are going to be weak to the rock slide or the rock move that it has. Oh, and we got paralyzed too. Oh, I'm not liking this. So yeah, that whole swap, we basically survived the freeze shock, because that was going to kill anybody else on the team, but now we're in the same situation we were before, where we can't really do much to this thing at all. I think the best play I have right here is go for flame charge right now, get some more damage on this Terrakion, hope it doesn't kill me, please don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Alright, thank you so much, Barty. Thank you for living. Eat that berry. Don't get fully paralyzed. I need you to get your attack off here right now. No! Come on! Barty! You have the Minecraft skin and everything! Don't let me down! Well guys, I said there was gonna be a death this episode and this might be it. That paralysis really worked against us right there. So, we'll try going for Flame Charge, but it's gonna kill us right here with the Rock Slide, isn't it? Oh! We avoided it! We avoided it! Let's go, buddy! Let's go! Alright, now Terrakion's in kill range. But, I, again, I think the best option is make the sacrifice play right now. I'm gonna use one of my potions on Willow, so if Barty dies, we can swap into Willow at full health, branch poke it, and knock it out. So, Barty is the champ right now! I almost don't want to let Barty die, because Barty keeps dodging this! Alright, you know what, on second thought, we're not letting Barty die today. We're gonna switch out into Gryffindor. Gryffindor resists his Rock-type move, it'll resist the Ice-type move, and if it knows a Fighting-type move, well, we're immune to that too. So, I think this is good. The only reason I didn't swap into this earlier is because Gryffindor, I don't think it has the offensive pressure to do a lot of damage to Terrakion right now. Shadow Sneak right now is going to be our basically best move to use in this situation, and it effectively is 60 base power due to the stab. So let's go ahead and try to use this on Terrakion. Actually, we might be able to do this without losing a Pokemon. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, I'm just bad at Pokemon, I guess. Oh, he's got to get the crit. He's got to complicate things with the crit. But again, those berries are getting me out of the danger zone. I really need to go back to that town early on in the game and buy some more berries after this battle. These berries are like the MVP. If we don't... Oh, just living. Just living. Don't get another crit on me. Gryffindor, you are a champ! You are a champ! You win the house cup right now! Oh, wow, I really thought we were going to lose something against this Terrakion, but Gryffindor, the synergy that we have here on this team, worked so well for us. And wow, we're getting a lot of XP. Almost everybody is leveling up from that, because we swapped into so many different Pokemon. Even Voldemort's at level 10 now. He might be usable in this battle. Alright, so here comes a Beware. We gotta get back. We gotta finish the last three Pokemon on his team. So yeah, normal fighting type beware, I think we should be fine going for Aerial Ace here. Storm Throw? Yeah, it's not gonna do anything to me. <laughs> that, that reaction right there, what?! It didn't do anything?! My guy really needs to learn his type matchups right there. Yeah, Aerial Ace is great. Aerial Ace is great, and you're gonna try going for it again! I'm assuming that beware just doesn't have anything it could touch me with. Sometimes Hop is really scary, and sometimes, like this, he's free! Hop, you are so free! Get that thing out of here! I thought we were going to lose a Pokemon to this guy when he sent out that Terrakion. But no, he is the strong Pokemon, he just doesn't know how to use him, and who wants to learn Will-O-Wisp? I actually like Will-O-Wisp a lot better than Confused Ray, so we're going to learn that. That might actually be a very good move later on. Alright, your next Pokemon is my one of my favorites, actually. Is that another Shiny? That's three Shinies for Hop this episode! Hop is absolutely a hacker. 
Again, I kind of think I should swap, but I don't think this thing can do too much damage to me. But those are also famous last words. All right, let's just go for Aerial Ace and see what happens here. Aqua Ring, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, recover some health. You're probably gonna get swapped out here with Emergency Exit anyway. Or it's a little bit bulkier than I thought it was. Yeah, it's a little bit more bulky than I thought it was. So we will actually swap into Buckbeak. We brought Buckbeak back for a reason. I think Pluck should finish this thing just fine. I think with Pluck, we should have a really good chance of doing a lot of damage to it. Plus, I wasn't really liking how low his health was getting. Petal Blizzard. What are these moves? You have such crazy moves, but they're not good against my team. Alright, let's do it. Let's go for Pluck. It's not gonna kill, but I think it's gonna- yeah, it's gonna swap him out, so we don't even have to worry anymore. And we also get to see his last Pokémon right now, which is a Venusaur! Regular Venusaur again, and whenever he sends something out, I'm expecting it to be a shiny here. So guys, I think we had this one in the bag. Let's just go for Pluck. Hopefully it has some sort of berry that we can just eat right now. Nice two-hit KO. Cotton Spore. What is that? Lower my speed, right? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. It might be faster than us right now, but realistically, what can it do to us? Oh, Parting Shot. It's just swapping back and forth between his Pokémon. One second it's the Big Bug, next second it's Venusaur, and then vice versa. Alright, but I don't mind either way. This is super effective against you too. So let's just go for our Pluck. Nearly taking this thing out. Again, I don't think it could do anything to us. It's setting up that Aqua Ring and what? It's gonna buy you an extra little bit of health? Which at this point doesn't do anything. It was gonna survive that hit anyway, but it's not gonna survive the next one. This is it. This is your final Hyper Beam! Hi- Okay, is this gonna- This is not gonna kill us, right? This is not gonna kill us. 15 HP, we're good. And we're eating our berry. That was definitely a nice last ditch effort, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Hop. It wasn't a bad move. But at this point, I really don't think it matters. Because he's got that Venusaur, and it is gonna outspeed us right now, but again, unless it has like Thunderbolt right now, I don't think we're- I think we're good. Or Sludge. Sludge might do... 10 HP. 10 HP, we're good. Buckbeak, we're good. And let's knock out that Venusaur, and there we go! Perfect battle against Hop. I saw that Terrakion, I kind of thought we were going to lose somebody there. Gryffindor, honestly, really proved himself this battle, and Voldemort leveled up a lot. Now Voldemort is viable. Was that really good training? Looks like I better keep my guard up. Just what I'd expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my League cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. Our gym challenge starts right now, from here in Motostoke. Although the first gym leader we'll have to challenge is in a town way far off from here. Still, you better believe I'm going to keep on winning my way to that championship match. Hello, Galler! Meet your next champion! From this sleepy town of Postwick, it's me, Hop! Alright, my friends, I think right there is a really good point to stop this episode. We just beat Hop, we did a whole bunch of stuff in Motostoke, and we even managed to catch a Legendary this episode too. Not really one that I wanted, but I'll take a Legendary. So my friends, next time, hopefully we'll be able to fight our first gym battle. I really want to try Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing a few of my Pokémon. I want to see what a Dynamax Necrozma looks like, and also I want to see if Hermione is actually the Gigantamax form like I think she is. And of course, we're going to be going through quite a few new routes, so of course we're going to get some new Pokémon as well. My friends, tune in next time, it's going to be a very exciting episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.